It's like they want to get hit. Need a body shot? Collision Specialist CSI, two blocks north of I-90 on 218. Hey there, Austin. This is Trey Muse reporting from the Austin Daily Herald, bringing you some of today's top headlines. An Austin man who was charged with multiple felony drug crimes after a police raid last year was sentenced to five years probation Friday in Mauer County Court. Juan Erlas, 37, was convicted of fifth-degree drug possession. Five other drug charges were dismissed when he entered into a plea agreement in October. A drug sale to a police informant triggered a raid at a home at the 800 block of 3rd Street Northwest. Erlas and Jesse Lynn Deverant, 30, were arrested without incident. Police found just less than three grams of meth and a few used meth pipes under where Erlas had been sitting. And now for the big weather story for this week, let's take it out to Daily Herald special correspondent Bree Peterson. Bree, how are we doing today? Thanks, Trey. We're going to have a long week of winter weather, unfortunately. A winter weather advisory is in effect till 6 p.m. Monday. About 2 to 4 inches of snow is expected, but the wind is also likely to impair driving. Once the snow pushes through the area, temperatures are expected to drop. Monday's high of 31 was expected to give away to a low of 8. Tuesday will see a high around 10 and a low near negative 7 degrees. A blustery 14 to 16 mile per hour winds will push wind chills to about negative 11. Highs will hover in the single digits all week with lows below zero. The wind chill could reach as low as negative 25 on Friday. There's a slight chance of snow Wednesday night and Friday night. That is it for the weather. Back to you, Trey. Thanks, Bree. The Lyle Area Cancer Auction raised $130,000 through a series of fundraisers and events that culminated in last weekend's annual auction. The money comes from events done throughout the year, including $45,000 from the auction and almost $24,000 from a Harley-Davidson raffle. The money will go towards cancer research centers like the Mayo Clinic, the Hormel Institute, and the University of Minnesota. Uh, speaking as someone who's covered uh, Austin and Mauer County for a little while now, I've got to say it's pretty amazing to see how many different organizations and groups and people all raise money and, and give money to, to various things like, you know, the, the Mayo Clinic and the Hormel Institute and, and good causes like that. It's, it's not every day that you see a, a community like the one that we have here in Mauer County do something like that. So it's, it's pretty intriguing and, and pretty amazing to see uh, how many fundraisers and events and drives that, that people do. It's a, it's a pretty, pretty fun feeling to have when, uh, when you're covering something like that. So. For the Austin Daily Herald, I am Trey Muse. Uh, that is today's top headlines. For more news about your community, your town, and a video about this weekend's cancer auction, please go to austindailyherald.com. For the Daily Herald, that's the way it was today.